Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI Rise and Fall in our Great Scott series. I am finishing up my repairs on this area here that we've been... Well, this once was uh, was Mapuche territory. It is not Mapuche ter territory anymore except for this city here, which we're waiting for the contamination to be gone. Um, in some areas, we are really just going to have to wait, I think, because it's taking a good while and contamination just killed one of our builders despite my best effort. Also, Victoria took the Venetian arsenal from me in the last episode, and I'm not very happy about it. So, we are already at war with her. Um, I'm going to go ahead, first of all, let's get this industrial district built. Roxburgh can get the power plant done in five turns. But I'm going to go ahead, ooh, Dundee can do... Let's go food market. You need food. And then Edinburgh... What I'm going to do is, is go ahead and declare war on Cleopatra this turn. Uh, well, I'm going to position some units first, then we'll declare war on her. And we will move pretty quickly across her territory. I don't think she'll really stand a chance against us. There could be some good fighting for a second, uh, but it'll just be pure entertainment, really. Let's build an encampment there. We have an amenity problem in Edinburgh, believe it or not. Now, I do need... Dumfries is a rather productive city, so I let's go ahead and have you start working on a missile cruiser armada, please. And then the city of Air. All right, you finished a modern armor. Is that because I have a modern armor that's still waiting to be armied up somewhere? What's the deal with that? Maybe so, maybe... Or no, I have that one and that is already... Okay, well... In that case... Let's have a quick look, shall we? Nope. There is not a modern armor core waiting anywhere, so... See, it's good to have this list... Helps me figure that stuff out a little bit faster. So, let's go ahead and build a modern armor core. And we'll position that unit right there. So where they're ready when the production is finished. And then Inverness, also a fairly productive city. Why don't you build a missile cruiser armada for me as well? Seeing as how we don't have a Venetian arsenal, I'm not bitter at all. Already an airport in Elgin. Wouldn't really benefit from, from another one here, but... I mean, a theater square would... Yeah, let's just throw a, a theater square down on top of the golf course. I think we probably need the theater square a little bit more than we need the golf course. At this point. Alright, now, do you have a holy site? No, you don't, but Augsburg does. So... Train one Apostle, train one Inquisitor, and then Cologne needs... I mean, you could do a Holy Site here too, but I think what I'd rather do in Cologne... We have an airport there, don't need that. We could do an Entertainment Complex. Yeah, there's actually a lot of German cities. That's why the religion is still so dominant. I mean, we, we haven't really converted this territory yet. That is the explanation I was looking for. Let's go for a builder in Magdeburg. It's kind of important. And then in Gorujos, let's do the Aquatics Center. Now, you can train some pretty good units as well, Navy-wise, but you're not quite as fast as the other cities. So why don't you just work on an aircraft carrier armada for me? And then, yeah, an archaeological museum there. And we're going to need to repair the walls as well. Okay, so now we need to think in terms of positioning these units. We have a mechanized infantry unit that needs to be front line. And I need to make sure that there's... Let's position you there, position you there.
this Missile Cruiser Armada will be able to help as well. And I'm fairly confident I don't need the nuke sub units guarding mine anymore, but we're just going to be a little bit careful with it. I'm going to wait. We're not going to go this turn with the war on Cleopatra, but we're going to go very, very soon. And can I rebase you? Yes, I can. Let's rebase this ship, Armored Verbalcon Tweed. And then I can do some air attacking here, so let's go ahead and hit this. Units. Now I can take that trader and probably pillage it right now. All right, yes. So there were sound effects there. They were just really, really quiet. I was talking about that in the last episode as far as whether or not the late game sound is still there. All right, so we are getting promotions for our jet bombers as well. And Campinas, after a few rounds of bombings, should fall pretty readily. I'm just excited to take Inaparamapu. And the issue is that this is all hilly terrain around Inaparamapu, except for right down here. Alright, so you can plunder that trade route. Let's do that. Let's have you fortify until healed. I can go ahead and attack here, but I think what I'd rather do, let's use the jet bomber, or the jet fighters first to do as much damage as we can. Can't quite get to Campinas. Can I with you? No, not quite. Just ridiculously powerful complement of forces headed across here. What are you doing here? I guess you just finished up being built. Do I have an entertainment complex nearby? Yes, I do. Right there. So let's get a golf course set up for that culture boost. All right, I'm going to move you in there. That road does need to be repaired. Make life a little bit easier. All right, Ngulumapu has been cleansed, and now let's get that. A doubloon from Wilhelmina, and that was the last charge from that archaeologist. Let's delete that dig site. We're going to keep that Inquisitor just hanging tight. We have a new great artist here, although I don't know that I have any slots great works of art, unless I have one up in the north. Maybe there's maybe there's some in... Yeah, here we go. In my new territory up here. Helen Mapu. So the thermonukes were fun, but this contamination is really slowing down the completion of some of my work. Alright, this aircraft carrier is ready to roll. Let's go ahead and move them out here. Be handy to have that in place. And then you can spread religion two extra times. That's great. All right, good. Geneva is now a Protestant city-state. I mean, I guess you can go ahead and attack Campinas. It wouldn't hurt. They're not doing that much damage to you. Okay, eventually we'll have to clear that. But for now, let's just head over here. And do we have an entertainment complex nearby? No, but another farm is probably good there. And then maybe we'll do some trees or a mine there. Got 
one build charge left with this guy. Have you already been cleansed? No, you haven't. Yep, finally got those elephants improved, and now we can move this unit. Now I can finally fly units up this direction, not that it matters too much anymore. But I can also fly units... Well, no I can't just yet. I'll just put them here and have to, I'll have to sail them across manually. I need to improve both of these fish resources. Improve the olives. Plant some trees. Uh, let's get a Pedro. Artifact. Clear that dig site indicator. Improve those fish. Are you next to an entertainment district? No, you're not. So you would really... It would be better if you had... Well, there's some farms in the area already. Let's just plant some trees and... We can have some woods there. Someone just declared war on me. I'm guessing Cleopatra? No, that would just be a city-state. Geneva. Again. But we have a spy headed to Geneva, I think. Two more turns, and Orabilia will be there. Even though uh, let's just ignore that. Cleopatra has noticed our troops. I don't really care. Let's see, Jet Fighter. Let's do Cockpit Armor. Combat Strength versus those type of units. Okay, now we can just start firing on Campinas with our Spec Ops armies. Doing a little bit of damage there. Getting promotions. Extra combat strength versus land units. Very good. Actually should have waited until the bombing was complete and I might have had a chance at taking it, but the destroyer should be able to take it in the next turn, I imagine. Future Tech's fine. Another great musician. Still earning great people that I don't necessarily have room for. Okay, Haddington doesn't really have any more issues. So best thing to do here would be to build... Yeah, let's do more bombers. Rebase them as needed. Forest, same thing. Cullen, same thing. Hangar in Elgin and work on building the airport. Sewer in Recif, and then the seaport should be next, I think. Zoo in Puelmapu. Theater Square in Ngulumapu. I'm going to move you up one tile. But in general, I need... I just need to make sure my drones are evenly distributed here. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna have you be a frontline unit as well. And this is a supply unit. You're a drone unit, as are you. This is going to be so much fun. When we actually declare war on Cleo, which I would imagine is going to be next turn, it's uh, going to go very poorly for her. Let's skip that jet bomber's turn for now. Burble upon Tweed doesn't have anything. Skip the jet bomber. Skip that Inquisitor. Skip, skip the jet bomber. Skip. Well, actually, you could potentially... Nope, you don't have range. Never mind. Do some more seaside resorts out here. The aircraft carrier could actually participate in the fighting over Campinas, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. We need to uh, improve those bananas, though. Didn't notice that those weren't ready. Let's go ahead and use that spread one more time. Solidify our hold on Geneva. 
We're going to get the machine gun army. Ah, it's going to take them a while. That's a shame. I'm going to go ahead and put this bomber over here at that base. You can repeat your routes. You can plant some trees. Wilhelmina, we are not at war with you, so I can't plunder that trader just yet, but believe me, I want to. Let's do indulgence vendor, because that could actually come in handy here. Yeah, these cities still have a lot of external influence in them, so let me go ahead and train another inquisitor, because that's just an area I've been neglecting. Germany's territory, mainly. So Mainz has been cleansed, and now our religion is increasing in influence in that area. Now I mentioned possibly building some or planting some trees here, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Turn that into a lumber tile, and then you need to come up here to that dig site. That's an established trade route. We're just going to keep that one going. We have a free spot out there in Peebles. Peebles finally making itself useful. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just hop onto that aircraft carrier, and then we can transfer you next turn somewhere else. Four turns away from our destroyer being done. And five turns away from Frankfurt, Frankfurt rebelling to our control. Now, this is a grassland tile, so I can cleanse it now. I don't think the road has been repaired here yet. No, it hasn't. All right, now that's fixed. We still need to repair that, though. Done. The Kiss. Haven't seen that great artist before, at least that I can remember. Let's do a farm. I know it looks like it's contaminated, but it's not. Lumber mill. Plant some trees. We'll do a lumber mill there, too, for Willamapu. Really can't wait to finish Ian Paramapa because this the occupation bonus, the occupation uh, penalty is really slowing down our growth and production in these cities. It doesn't work. It's not that there's no growth or productivity anymore. It's just really slowed down. So if we pull this up, it might even say... No, it, it's still, it does, it's not articulated well the interface, and the interface still makes it look like the city's not growing, which is the way it was in vanilla Civ 6, but... That's been changed, FYI. We're going to work on converting Bandar Brunei. We do have a new spaceport going up in Scotland. <laughs> I think Lataro's progress on the um, space victory was, uh, was halted. I don't think we have to worry about that so much anymore. And I think after this turn cycles, we are going to be ready to take on Cleo. Oh, hello. You guys are attacking me from multiple directions. That's not very nice. I'm going to move this unit over one this. tile. Do I need these wild cards anymore? Extra production, one housing per district. I mean, I mean, yeah, that's that's actually pretty handy from a happiness standpoint. Do I need the Wars of Religion bonus anymore? Probably not. The extra combat experience policy could be good. Let's do that. I'm going to move you over. Hello. There we go. Alright, so this city should be ours momentarily. Alright, awesome. That's that. Looks like we have a new archaeologist in Rio. 
We didn't even need the bomber. Silly me. All right, we can tell that Campinas has been taken because we have the Keep City dialogue, but we're not going to get the choice until the city, until the animation's complete here. But we're, I think, ready. Oh, hello. I definitely want you there. But I just need to make sure there are drones in the center here, which is the main issue. Okay, so we can bring back Brazil if we wanted to. I'm just going to keep the city. And that ends that problem. And I'm going to bring these fighters over. And we will attack Cleopatra in just a bit. Aberdeen's... Buy a trader, and we'll probably rebase you. But let's get the bank next. Lerwick, you could use a... Industrial Zone? Actually, you know, that would... Re no, it doesn't matter anymore. It would hurt the campus if we still cared about science, but we're, we're doing okay science-wise. We finished that tree a while ago. Raymond does need to repair their outer defenses. Let's get that done. Augsburg. Uh. There's already an airport in the area. Let's just do a theater square. I hate to do it on top of the wheat, but there's already a wheat tile, and at this point in the game, does it really matter? Destroy our armada in Aachen. Random new district. Here in Dortmund. Either that or we just finished repairing it. Probably that. Hmm, industrial zone in Curitiba. I th there's probably already an, an industrial zone. Yeah, there is. There's one right here actually helping all of these cities. So that's just going to benefit Curitiba, but that's fine by me. Aquarium, still keeping the happiness situation up there. And can we purchase this yet? No, I spent all my gold on something else again. So that's fine. We'll go ahead and just keep repairing the other buildings that need it. Amphitheater in Ngulumapu. I guess we can repair the monument here. Sewer would be good to help that city grow faster. Let's let's get the granary repaired first for the housing bonus that we would enjoy. And then I can promote you. Okay, well, let me reassign you from Valletta to Campinas just to help with loyalty. You're down there at the very bottom. Haven't really done much with her this series. Okay, we're waiting for just a few more units to get in position, which will be ready in the next turn. So I'm going to declare war this episode, but we're going to wait until all of these forces have landed, just for safety's sake. Yep, I can now go ahead and... Can I rebase you elsewhere? No. I'll be able to soon, though. Why don't you come out to Utrecht, please? There we go. We need to get an Inquisitor over to Campinas as well, so I'll go ahead and send that one. Fabricate Scandal. Sure. We've been waiting on that. About freaking time. Also, it looks like there's a uh, there's an incense tile near Peebles that hasn't been improved yet. Do I have incense? I'd be amazed if I didn't. Because we control so much territory. Holy crap, that would be a new luxury resource. I don't have incense. Yeah, that would be my first incense. Wow. 
Just when you thought things couldn't get any better. They actually can. Keep that Inquisitor there until he's a little bit more useful. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's still a lot of Protestantism out here. We need to deal with we need to deal with Munster in the next turn. Let's repair that tile. It's been waiting to be repaired for a while. Get those mines built out in the desert. I'll probably be pretty lucky if Cleopatra doesn't declare war on me herself. Did you have a promotion? No, you didn't. It's not going to be much longer before the contamination around these cities is just gone outright. But then we'll still need to repair a lot. Pretty sure that that road's already been repaired, even though it doesn't look like it has, given that the district is damaged. Let me go ahead and plant some trees there for Pekin Mapu. That could be good for that city. Put some trees near Willamapu as well. Avenue in the park of Schloss Kammer. If I pronounce that correctly. We already have an archaeologist heading up there, so why don't we take you and send you out? Because there are some definite shipwrecks that need to be investigated. And we probably have a few other cities where we can build archaeologists too. I've been going pretty crazy with the archaeologist training. Three turns away from our destroyer there. Let's get some woods down for Haddington. Get them some additional production. Okay. That oil will definitely help out. Our modern armor army is almost ready to land. Let's just put them near Glasgow. Okay, so that's that. We're going to declare war at the beginning of the next turn. Looks like someone tried to neutralize our governor in Sterling. A spy from the Mapuche Empire, Lotaro's Revenge. That's funny. Even though the future seems far. Future tech. Alright, let's very quickly go ahead and. Let's get the seaport in Krakow. Good. You know what you could probably build? You don't have a harbor already. Yeah, you do. You do an industrial zone, though. Yeah, do an industrial zone. You need more production than you already have. You've already got both, so why don't you work on a destroyer armada, please. It's our war against Victoria, building up slowly but surely. Let's get one more builder. I think we're about done improving the tiles we need to improve. Salvador de Bahia is decent on production, but I don't need to... Let's just work on some thermonukes in a few cities. Oh, you still need to repair your your walls, and there's some tiles that need to be uh, repaired as well. I still can't... I've been... <laughs> uh, I still can't do anything with that military academy. I've been neglecting saving the gold for it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Repair the outer defenses. Some of our production projects are finishing up. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's put you on the front line. Put you back here. Put you in there. And then you there. Spec Ops units. I'm going to need to para-drop you when you have all of your movement. All right, Hamish is already promotable. Okay, let's go ahead and declare this war. So this would be a holy war. 
We are now at war with every remaining power on the map. Goodbye. Okay, now with that being done, we now have a lot more options, but however, I've been seeing some submarines in the area, and I need to spot for them. That was just a land unit. Oh, and that submarine, well, it's already at the max strength, but um, I need to leave that Great Admiral there, otherwise it's going to kill the Settler. That's okay, though, because it can support other units in the area in the meantime. Matter of fact, let's, yeah, let's put it there to where it really is supporting all of them. We'll put you here. Actually, I'll have you just stay with the submarine. Then the Missile Cruiser Armada can fire on that unit there. Okay. Let's kill that religious unit. We've got a couple of religious units we need to finish off. Alright, so this encampment is no longer any kind of problem. This is actually their capital right here, which is hilarious to me. And we just brought down its walls. That quickly. Let me go ahead and position you here. Why not? Yeah, I think we can take this. I think the city will fall if I attack with both of my cavalry units here. Okay, not quite. But we can still do it to give them some experience. So that supply convoy really probably should have stayed back with the rest of the force, but it's okay. I can thermonuke Shadet. And this would be over quickly. We don't have any spies or units in the area, so that's just an easy way to take out a lot of Cleopatra's territory right away. And of course we didn't get to see the Mushroom Cloud because it was completely within the fog of war, and I feel like a sad panda. Let's go ahead and attack. I don't have visibility on Thebes, sadly, so we just need to air pillage. Alright, this modern army, modern armor army needs to land, and they'll be able to join the battle next episode, and we're probably going to completely defeat Cleopatra in the next episode, I would imagine. We'll come very close to it. Let's hit the Sphinx. Now the thing is, my bombers won't get experience for the air pillaging they're doing, which makes me sad. Yeah. 
yeah, they're not getting any experience for it. Are we still at war with Bound Up Brunei? Yes, we are. In that case... I really wish the aircraft carriers had more movement. Okay, well, we're about 35 minutes into this episode. I need to stop this one here, just on account of how long... Yeah, let's move you over here. Just on account of how long it's taking to go through this, and we're 35 minutes in, and I don't want to... I want to make sure I don't go overtime on too many of these. But uh, next episode, we're going to spend every single turn just plowing through Cleopatra's territory. The fact that her capital is about to fall means that... Um, we shouldn't have any trouble holding territory in the area. We've got plenty of gold per turn so we can buy builders and have them instantly come in and repair uh, and cleanse, like for instance, Shadet. So I'm not even necessarily worried about taking a long time to cleanse this area in the same way that uh, Inipuri Mapu has taken a while. Uh, we're almost done as well with the contamination around Pekin Mapu, and Inipuri Mapu's is going to be done in eight turns. So before too long, we won't even have to worry about cleaning that up. Frankfurt's is gone, and their rebellion is going to happen in three turns, so that's probably going to go ahead and be ours next episode as well. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 7 a.m. until the series is complete. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time.